Welcome everybody, and today I'm going to be going over my plan for the map Horus. Now as you may notice, there's already one problem with my army, and that's that this priestess over here on the left only has two peasants. Now that's because the rest of my units also have peasants, and I've reached my peasant capacity for my buildings already. So what I'm going to do to alleviate this problem is I'm going to change my witch over here to some archers, and then we'll see that my priestess immediately gains the three peasants that she was missing before because we are no longer at maximum capacity. And what I'm going to do with these archers is I'm going to move them right over here under these trees. And as you can see, they gain a defensive bonus as long as they remain under the trees, which should help keep them alive as long as possible. Now not only this, but since the hero unit is a witch, they'll actually detect any invisible units that come within their range, preventing any sneak attacks on the back points. Now next, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring the priestess over here into this nook. And to really take advantage of her ice wave ability, we are going to give her a really long path all the way around here, making sure that we hit both the mud, the bottom point, and the eastern entrance to this base. And we're going to tell her to do that at 25 seconds. Next, I'm going to use my peasants and monk here, and I'm actually going to tell them to come down to this point here at the bottom, and then come back, and I want them to do this pretty early at 15 seconds. Now the reason I'm ending them here is because uh, this way the, the uh, peasants will actually end their movement within range of both the middle and the bottom point, meaning that if either of them get captured, they'll be there to defend it. And I think we're going to finish off by just setting my archers to go over here into this defensive point on the right around the time that the ice wave is coming, just in case they don't take the bait on the left side. And that looks like a good plan. All right, let's see how our defense does against an attack. Looks like he's sending two units up there on the right. One of them is a monk, so we'll be turning that point into a stone ring. And he's sending his invisible units up there on the road, which are detected by my invisible units sitting there in the brush, giving them a chance to shoot at them with uh, their bow and arrow, and then the peasants engage them as well. Now it looks like our peasants are engaging their archers down at the bottom, and they get hit by the ice ring along with the stone ring getting hit and the peasants attacking the middle point. Because we gave them such a big movement area, we actually managed to hit almost all of his units with that ice wave. And it looks like our units at the bottom didn't do so hot, but we defended the middle point pretty well. So he's really got no chance at winning at this point, but let's see if we can't take the third point there from back from that stone ring. All we've got left is a priestess and a peasant against the intimidating stone ring. Let's see who wins. All right, we've taken a couple shots. There's only four seconds left. Another shot, and we got it right there at the end. Awesome. 